phone ringing. Come on. That's your phone. My phone's on my phone. No, that's your phone. Oops. Yeah, well, look. What is this? What do you think this is? This is Hollywood. Hey GQ, I'm Jacob Elordi and I am going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. First up, Quora. How can I be like Noah Flynn, Jacob Elordi? Question mark. My girlfriend said he's like her dream guy. What are direct things that I can do to be like that? That's awful. I'm so sorry. Your girlfriend should never say that. You are her dream guy. Don't listen to that. Direct things that I can do to be like that. First of all, don't be like Noah Flynn. I wouldn't want to be like that in real life. Be like Jacob Elordi, don't do that either. Hey, be yourself, man. Submit. Reddit. Did the show make Nate too evil? I just finished the show and I was wondering, does anyone else think they made Nate too much of a villain? I don't think that they made Nate too evil, no. I think he has the perfect balance of terrible things happening to him and he reacts accordingly to the things that are happening in his life. Obviously, he doesn't have much of a moral conscience, but I think his evil actions are justified by sort of what happens to him. I don't really think he's a villain either. Love or hate Nate as a character, Jacob Elordi's performance during his meltdown scene with his dad was phenomenal acting. I wonder how many times they shot it. Super unlucky if he hurt himself on the first and only take they did. Eric and I did that scene over 10 times from different angles, but we were really lucky because it kind of started in a, in a place where we didn't really know what it was or what the scene was going to be. And then by the end of it, we exhausted ourselves and physically exerted ourselves and mentally exerted ourselves and it ended up in the place that it that it was. So it kind of needed to be a lot of takes for that scene to work, I think. I'm super proud of, of the whole show. I'm just super happy to, you know, to be a part of it. Because everyone to me in that show, I think is just phenomenal. So it's kind of like pinch yourself all the time when you sit back and you realize that you get to be a part of uh, the same show as them. YouTube, how tall is he? I used to be so sensitive about my height because when I first started acting, literally everybody, would tell me that I'd never work because uh, they wouldn't wouldn't be able to like partner me with people and they wouldn't lift the camera up. So I basically got told that I was too tall to be an actor. So to all of those people, nice. So yeah, I was super nervous about telling people my height. So I used to try to pass as like 6'2 or 6'3, but I'm actually 6'5. So online there's all different kinds of, um, of numbers because I've just sold myself out here. Uh, just because I, I didn't want anyone to, because people hear 6'5 and they go like, you're a giant. But if I stand next to someone who's 6'3, the difference is like tiny. This is from Fuhooks. Could anyone else see Jacob as Batman? He's a very talented actor. Thanks. That's so nice of you. I really appreciate that. Probably like the one thing that you want people to say about you ever is what you just said. So thank you very much. I'd love to be Batman. Huge Batman fan. Batman is the one superhero thing that I actually have time for and enjoy. So that actually is really cool. This is from Jacob Roddy on his favorite things in life. He can cook. Husband material. Crying emoji. <laughs> No, actually, I can't cook at all. The extent of my cooking is jam on toast. If you want to sign up for a life of really well lathered butter and jam on toast, then yeah, absolutely, I'm husband material. I don't like that you're crying about me being husband material though, that seems toxic. I look like such a knob in these photos on here. <laughs> They're like super steely. Ay, 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 ay. Next up, IMDB. He learned how to ride a motorbike for the film The Kissing Booth. That's true, I did. We were in South Africa. The guy, just, I think his name was Neil maybe, just threw me on a motorbike and he was like, just kind of figure it out on the side of the freeway somewhere in, uh, in South Africa. And it was awesome. I uh, fell off a million times. But yeah, I did learn how to ride them for that movie. I don't ride them. My mum won't let me. I really want a motorbike though. I'd never ride one in LA, but I would like to get one. He started acting professionally by playing the cat in the hat in Suzukul. By far the standout performance of the show. Professional is uh, an interesting word. <laughs> I was in grade six. But yeah, why not? We'll go with that. Moving on. Instagram. When are you going to start working on season two of Euphoria? I have no idea. I hope it's really, really soon because I'm really bored and I'd love to go and do that. I had the scripts for Euphoria season two, but that was at the start of the year and they change all the time. So I imagine now it's a completely different show. 
Is it possible that you're now 59 years old and used to be called Michael Schofling? Laughing, crying emoji. Oh, the guy from 16 Candles. Yeah, that's me. I'm him. You're looking at him. He's doing a GQ interview. How you like your eggs cooked in the morning? I don't. Please don't cook my eggs. I'll make my own breakfast. Oh, it's... They want to like be a, like, um, help me in that regard. Okay. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. I thought they were genuinely wondering how I like to have my breakfast. Twitter. What kind of girl do you think Jacob Lordy likes? It's girls like me, right? Right? He likes me. I like you. Wikipedia. The Lordy was born in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia on 26th of June 1997 to John and Melissa Lordy. He has two sisters. He is of Spanish descent. That's not true. I have Basque descent, which is this little place between France and Spain. My grandfather would strangle me if he knew that it said Spanish descent. So I have three sisters. They're all much older than me. Not much older, but relatively much older growing up as the baby i was definitely spoiled i'm still spoiled i've never not been spoiled and i plan to be spoiled for the rest of my life next he attended secondary school at st kevin's college and nudgy he showed interest in acting since he was young and was involved in many school dramas yes I did. I lived in Melbourne for uh, for a little while. My sister was a ballet dancer at the Australian Ballet School. So our whole family moved from Brisbane to Melbourne and I went to school at St. Kevin's, which was super strict. And then in grades 11 and 12, I came back to Brisbane and I went to Nudgy College, which was not super strict. I did show interest in acting since he was young and I was involved in many, many school dramas on and off the stage. Career, this section on Wikipedia is super short. I don't know what that's about. The Lordy's first appearance in a Hollywood film was in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Mm, you, you know, this is something that I've wanted to clear up for years. People are always trying to find me in the movie and there's screenshots of me in the movie. No. I was in the background of the movie. I wasn't in the movie. I wasn't credited. I wasn't billed. I didn't audition. I was an extra. And it was one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. And you'll never find me. I don't know if it counts, but the first movie I ever made was um, Stephen Elliott and it was called Flammable Children, in which I played a, a, a lifeguard. Again, not much of a performance, just kind of standing there. Wait, what? Is it called Swingy Safari? What did I say it's called? It was called Flammable Children. Did it change its name? There you go. <laughs> I'm getting old, can't remember. I've been in that many movies now. Submit. Hey, that's me signing off the internet, guys. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for tuning in and listening to me talk about myself. Uh, thank you, GQ, and uh, have a good one.